so you might have missed the video before this but we caught a whopping 44 pound grouper and let me tell you it was amazing if you missed that video go back and check it out but in this part of the video we are going to cook it up and let me tell you delicious I don't have water, so I'm going to go. On the table, yeah? And then you just rinse off. That's so freaking hey. cool! So David, they say you go mount the fish? Yes, sir. So the same like you do the marlins in the house? Yeah, man. Once in a lifetime, go for a like 45 inches. 45 inches. Wow. You should have never caught one this morning. Alright, so Roman, where is it going tomorrow now? Just take me a time, man. No, no, no. What we are going to use? What we are going to use? We're just talking about it. What we are going to use? Yeah, different fish. Yeah, okay, we go for variety today too. Yeah. What, what was this Nineteen. Huh? Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Thank you. 
a once in a lifetime era, man. Happy taxidermy. Peter, here you mentioned that you don't like cutting on this particular table. What surface area you guys normally cut like a big fish like this on? Wood. Wood? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one is big. <laughs> yeah. The table is big. I put a yeah. towel on that. So if you guys realize how he's carving up the fish, very little meat is being wasted very close to the bone and that needs a very sharp knife in it guys after about two hours the heart is still beating it's crazy press it fillet see your throat right there something cheers Yo, the cheek is almost like it's like a regular fish fillet size, yeah. bro. They come much meat upon this. Wow. That's what fish burger is. Nice. Hey, that is like a little sirloin. Yeah. Exactly. That's a filet menu on the sea. So explain the texture of this particular fish. I hear somebody say it's gummy. Yeah, very gummy. Very gummy. Very, very gummy. Especially Okay. All right, brother. Tomorrow. Yeah, man. Tomorrow we link up. We'll it's gonna be epic. Tasty. Yep. This day. Definitely. Enjoy. We will reap the benefits of it. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Blessings. All right. Tomorrow. Morning, David. Morning, my brother. We are ready, so we're basically getting locked and loaded right yes, now. We're locked and Doing a bunch of stuff in the van right now, man. So we got this big old grill for the cook-up. We got the cooler and everything, baskets, water. We got this truck over. So you know how we do it, bro. That's, that's the best way. All right, so everybody's going to be here. But about how many people are coming? About eight. Oh, damn. We have enough meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we have enough meat thanks to you, to the grouper. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> a long little drive down to this private property yeah so before you guys even ask me oh where's that 
or whatever, it's a private beach. People tend to ask me that question a lot, but a lot of the places I go to are either very remote, very private, and yeah. So it's a private beach. You gotta drive through someone's property um, to get here, but yeah, we are here. Um, boys are parked up there, and we are going to start this cookout. Yes, sir. We are finally here, We're man. Finally here, right? Yeah. It's private beach. I'm glad you pointed it out. Thanks. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they think when I'm at some beaches, they don't know. It's like you know. Yeah. This is this is soy's beach. Bomba, the vibes. Yeah. They say you and some select friends. Cook and so on. Yep. Make the fishing. Sometimes we bring a boat round here too. Okay. So we have the land and the sea. Fun. Makes sense. It's a really good camping spot. Yes. A lot of shade too. Um, we have an annual camping here in the spring. Okay. But this year we didn't keep it because of the COVID. COVID yeah. Um, stipulations and things. But we camp out here for a couple of days and we bring everything we need. Yeah, makes sense. Variety of food, coolers full of drinks and beers and rum, of course. <laughs> yeah, man. Vibes. So this is, this is your uh, smoker? Yes, that's my smoker. That's cool, man. And then they're carrying the grill yeah. over there. Vibes. Put, you should have put the frame level first. Oh, golden retriever. Mm -hmm. Hey, Zena, warrior princess. Zena, the warrior. Hey, 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 Zena. Hey, Zena. Hey, Zena. <laughs> Good girl. Back the booty. <laughs> yeah. Wow, beautiful dog. Alright, so feet are there, so I cut up some, some veg. So we'll see we have some cut up cabbage, some carrots. That's like a got stuff to shagger. Yes sir. Alright, see you there. Right. So what happened on the menu today, Peter? Um, stuff, snapper, fish, mm -hmm. and um, beer butter grouper. Nice. That's what we're gonna work with. So you use the pork chop same way in there too? Yeah, with the cabbage. Boss, you start a little wood fire with yourself. Yeah. yeah. Vibes. Real outdoor cooking style is. Alright guys, so for my dish, I'm gonna keep the fish very simple. I'm gonna try to experiment with some new ingredients, which is gonna be the um let me show my beautiful face. <laughs> like I was saying. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna use some um, some red palm oil, which is I see been using a lot of African dishes, so I think I'm gonna try to experiment with that. Um, some rosemary, a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of butter, because the red palm oil they said it's very buttery. It says like a butter, but minus the salt. Um, some garlic, and that's basically gonna be that for the fish. I'm gonna try to pan sear it, finito, and then some vegetables, man. Um, yeah, the guys around here they're very they're very macho, so they don't really eat vegetables and stuff but they don't know marrow jelly so gotta make sure we have some veggies on it so we have some asparagus some um brussels sprouts some carrots and yeah that should be it so anyway let's get into the prep work for that it's really quick and simple dish try it at home if you guys want to and let's have this really fresh caught fish i think it's gonna be amazing Make your Brussels sprouts really. That's hmm? it. Neither do I. 
very simple ingredients, so we treat them as such. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but it's, bro, it's really nice out here. Really nice, really nice and calm things, to be honest, it's really cool. So we are going to do a quick julienne on the carrots. Alright, so we have the carrots cut up on all that. I honestly think julienne is a really waste of a carrot, but today I am going to waste a bit of it, unfortunately. But I'm not going to try to do it perfect, so. And the reason why you julienne stuff or you try to cook them in a particular way is that everything cooks evenly. So if one piece of carrot bigger than the next, it's not going to cook as even as the next. So that's kind of the reason why in those fine dining restaurants, they kind of waste the food in some way. But if you're smart, you can use these to like make carrot juice or something like that. So it's gonna almost feel like a potluck. <laughs> Cause everybody, everybody has their little thing that they're cooking and I can guarantee you it's all going to be great. Where so we have Ramon's chopping block. Seems like you've done a lot of chopping on this block, man. Yeah, this block going about 25 years. 25 years. Um, what material is this? A man asked me to cut down a lychee tree. Lychee? That died in a flood. Okay. It was a lovely tree, used to bear a lot, and it died in a flood one year, and he asked me to cut it down. And when I cut it and realized how tough it was, I cut a cutting board. I saw I didn't cut more. It's like you can't do anything to it. <laughs> 25 years of cutting on this board, lychee tree. Chinese uh, Yeah, tight <laughs> vibes. Uh, if you don't know, Peter, the bone that fish. Mm -hmm. I have a vlog where I can show you guys the method of that, but the bone has been removed. Can do it again. Can do it again. Yeah, show it. Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you see me, animal go stuff the fish with all of that. Chef and butter, do me good. Not a song, eh? mm -hmm. Most of the foil, so not the Beautiful. Mm -hmm. yep. Sorry. <laughs> You know one thing me happy for see though, you know if I catch fish, you know if I cook them too. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> so for the very first time guys, I'ma try some shark. What would you say the meat's like? Um, the meat is so tender. It cook in five minutes. Really? Five minutes. If the grill hot, it cook in five minutes. Or it, you can even pick it up the way it's hard to mash up. Mm. It, it make nice steaks. Nice. Nice steaks. I have a style. I do it with the honey mustard sauce. Okay. I will make you try it. I want to try that today. Yeah. yeah. yeah That's yeah. nice. Right. That's nice. And this yeah. is nice, a nice like a young one. And this is a black tip you said? Black tip shark. Nice. Yeah. 
And that can be found in Jamaican water? Yeah, man, a lot. They come on down there. Do they do any like any harm to you? Look at the color of the meat. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Alright, Roman, so you are removing the skin? Yes. I, I assume the skin is a very tough thing for the shark. Yeah. Okay. The skin, like other hides, they use it to make handbags and things like that. Really? They preserve shark skin to use many, for many things. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fish now. Yeah. It's a queen snapper. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yes, sir. That's why you're filling for the, the bear butter fish. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're keeping the skin on or you're removing that as well? We're on the group or this? No, for this. This, yeah, you're keeping the skin on. And for the group, or skin off? Skin is off. Awesome. Guys, check out this smoker, yo. It's like a smoker grill. I think we might be having smoked shark. All right, so I decided to do my little cook up right beside the beach because I just like hearing the waters, and I'm sure you guys will love that as well. But yo, Ramon is down there cooking up, not cooking up, he's washing the, the meat of the shark. I'm sure there's a reason for that, so I'm gonna go down there and ask him. You guys know for me, it's always like a travel journey, a culinary journey. There's so much that you can learn from other people, so. And this water is beautiful, man. So you see, I wash shark up the shark. Steaks. Yeah. Nice. I rinsed it a few times in the seawater because it had a bitterish um, liquid in the body. Okay. And after you flush that, meat is beautiful. Nice. So I'm preparing. Yeah. I do hear people say like, if you try to wash clean fish that come out of the salt water in yeah. fresh water, it gets, uh, the texture is different. Is that right? Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. But the sea water has a different effect with it. Different effect? Yeah. Vibes. Definitely. Cool. And more preserving of the meat to the sea water. Yeah, exactly. Alright, Jilly's out here helping me to get the fire going. Yeah, guys, out here is really beautiful, man. It's really beautiful. Watching. Huh? <laughs> you watching soy vlogs? Bruh. Come on. It's funny that you got internet connecting out here. It's kinda cool. Alright guys, so we have some fish that we go wash off really quick. A quick tip for you guys, I asked um, Peter to help me in terms of understanding, you know, the the biology of a fish. And he said this fish is not really a raw one, so you don't have to wash it in a vinegar like, you know, a lot of us Jamaicans would traditionally do. Kind of wash it in salt water and it's perfectly fine. But if you have a really raw, raw fish, then yeah. So let's just go to the ocean really quick and we go do that. Make sure so you're catching the water without no sun. That's done, so this looks fine. Alright. Look at this guy. This is a grouper. This is a part of 
a 44 pound grouper. It's ridiculous. This is really fresh meat. Anyway, let's go. All right, Ramon, where are you in the cooking process? All right, so they need to wash off and deal up with it. I have some thing. fish fillet for you to see, you know. Okay. Vibes. Yeah, man. I'm not doing some roast plant in the skin. Guys, yeah, this smells really good. Yeah, man. Yo, as a forward here, so I smell this nice flavor. What is it? Snook. So it's snook, snook, but what, what, what exactly you put it's on it? It's a type of fish. But what exactly you put on it though? Something oh, smell really nice. Natural seasonings. Natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. minute powder and so on. Yeah, vibes. Yeah. That one for here. Yeah, man. All right, vibes, yeah, bro. Cool. All right, we'll check out the other people, them. Is it me? Jelly came over to get some water and thing. Like a rough life and thing. A physical strength. Yeah, yeah, because you're with the boys. Anyway. And. Peter, you know, Peter is um, just chef extraordinary now. You have about how many dishes on the fire right now? <laughs> one at the moment. <laughs> one, at, one at the moment. Right. This looks like it's going to be the beer battered fish. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah. Alright, uh, let me guess. Lemon pepper. Use a little lemon pepper. Lemon black pepper. pepper. Complete season. A little salt. That's it. Guys, you have to appreciate me for doing this because he doesn't really share his secrets like that you understand but today he will and guys make sure you check out um lock and loaded adventures you're going to see the entire cook up on this is me on all those three dishes and again come on we're giving you a freebie here all right <laughs> that money that money let me see now you that don't one. miss it <laughs> not such a precise precise all right, so we got water. How are you feeling? How did you like that video, though? The video? Was yep. Off the chain. The video was really yeah, good. It was nice. I felt like I was back there. Yeah. It's kind of weird, even though I was the one in the video. When you're watching the video through the lens of the camera, it's like different. True. Feel true. Different. It's nice. What is it? Um, just the veggies. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. That's actually smart, putting in a strainer for it to like dry off. Mm -hmm. Never know some absence. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got this nice beautiful fish here and we're just gonna do a simple seasoning of salt and black pepper to start it off, not overpouring it with the salt because we're going to use some butter which actually has a bit of salt in there so we have a nice pinch of salt on that and 500 views already in our really? and some black pepper just going to make sure that that goes all over on the fish what I like to do if this part is very seasoned I will just throw the X1 on its back and I will just do that. It's kind of crazy, but it works. Fish is done. Just gonna pop this baby right there on the fire. It's a casty, so it does take some time to get heated. So, we wait. All right, guys, so the pan is hot. So I can toss a bit of that red palm oil in there. Some garlic and some pimento. And of late, I've been cooking with rosemary. I used to hate rosemary, bruh. 
but I find like when you do it like this, it just adds a, a hint of it, not too much. And it's just epic, yo. Do that in there a little bit. I'm gonna add a bit of butter. Butter's gone a bit soft. No worries, I kind of want that to kind of sauce my fish a bit. And at the same time, I kind of want the color. You know, so this will give the fish a nice color. All right, I'm gonna heat up a little bit more. Oh guys, look at that. How does it smell, Jilly? It smells good, right? Oh, the rosemary is bomb. I ain't gonna lie. Really smells good. Are you a fan of rosemary? Do you like it? Mm. Not too much either. All right. I'm gonna take that rosemary out now. It has had its time to shine. Add the fish on. Oh yeah. Do you smell that fish, Julie? Really? Yeah, smells really good. That's me. I don't know the nature of this fish if it will like break or anything like that over time. I'm giving it a light cook on either side. Don't want to overcook fish. Shouldn't be moving it much either, but I have an uneven pan. <laughs> Beautiful man, it's a nice slab of fish. Kind of using the garlic as reference to know how hot the pan is. The garlic hasn't burnt as yet. It's nice and soft, so I know it's almost like a what you call it again? A garlic con tea. Just to be safe. Oh, wow, right? Beautiful. Oh, can you imagine, right? Fresh caught. That's 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 the interesting part that we caught it. Everything. Guys, nice, look at that. Beautiful. Right now that meat looks almost like lobster. Just the way how <laughs> it's ridiculous man. Look at that meat. Whoa. Gosh. Mushy gaji. I want to do is for that oil to get straight through those creases, you know. <laughs> Very juicy is cooked all the way through. I'm interested to see how palm oil tastes. Like, have you ever had it before? I've never had it before. I have no clue, but I know it's heavily used in African dishes, so I kind of want to have that kind of African seafood vibe in a little way. But I hear it's very buttery. And I did try some raw, and it was, yeah, it's like butter. All right, so we put it on the sides because it is really a thick cut of meat. I 
what you thought about the butter, the, the palm oil? So it's good, right? It's different. It's really different. This is what I like. All right, I think that should be done. The residual heat should uh, finish her off, so. This is one beautiful fish, man. Really nice. Alright, so we got a little bit of butter in there, a bit of coconut oil, and I'm not going to waste my rosemary. Knock off a couple of those leaves in there, so that's fine. And we're going to start with the asparagus first because this is it's a lot of asparagus. Guys, so right now we just have some asparagus going, giving them a quick saute. Still want them nice and crunchy. I think they can come off right now. Should be good. What did you do? What did you do? Really? Oh, David's gonna fly the drone? Oh, snap. Yeah, S O A I. <laughs> Freaking awesome, man. You look like a real survival girl. Like a model. <laughs> All right, just dropping in some of this asparagus, a bit of carrots, quick saute on those, and our dish is done. Guys, I just had that bear batter um, fish that Peter did, yo. Compliments to the chef. You see me jump over to Locked and Loaded, you'll see my review on it. You'll see how them, you, you guys need to watch that video to see how they make it because that's probably one of the best batters I've ever had on a fish. And then fresh caught fish, you can't go wrong with that, bro. Like, it's, there, there's no way. That alone is, is a chef itself. The fish chef it owner damn self. You see me? Man, man laugh up the, oh, if I didn't mean it, I laugh, you know. Let's just try you now, laugh. So I go still. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have some the veggies and stuff, and then yeah, serve yourself. You want to put, put it yeah, just put. We can just eat off this. I don't know, it's an outdoor thing, isn't it? Me? Oops. So we have that. Some nice slabs of um, grouper. My nose said jelly like pepper, so. Just gonna add some of that pepper right on top of that. You ready for your food? I'm gonna give you vegetables. Okay. You don't want this man fighting with us. Vegetables. Give me vegetables. So anything I give, I'm gonna play off it. Man, go quiet. The whole crowd go quiet. If at the night time we hear cricket. Yo. There's no way I'll come here and not go in the water. Even though everybody's playing music and getting ready to go, but yo, beautiful sunset happening over there. Woo! This is nice water.
Alright guys, so we just got done showering and everything, so we're packing up everywhere, making sure we got everything done. But let me tell you, this was a very so exciting trip, let me tell you man. It was always cool linking up with really cool people across the island that have different stories to share. And you know, this one was a really big one because we caught something really big, really epic. Thank you guys for coming on the journey with me and big up to Lock and Loaded Adventures for making all of this happen. But anyway, we're gonna tell everybody goodbye, every Everybody that was a huge part of this, people that I got to talk to and I learned a lot from. So let's go do that really quick and then we're gonna head out. All right, David, keep the link. Definitely, my brother. Peter, keep the link. Always, bro. All right, Daniel, keep the link. All right, Luke, it's been real. The thing about traveling is that you'll meet a lot of amazing people along the way. And it's sad to leave or see them off. But in order to meet other great people, you have to keep moving as if you are stuck on an island.